okay uh, good afternoon uh, and welcome back so in last session we talked about predatory journal lecture 9 unit 3 and this is now unit 4 lecture 10 and this would be about uh, open access publishing that means generally what we used to do we used to send paper for publication and that publication that journal used to publish in hard copy but now things has changed government uh, came out with some kind of you know policy or schemes that uh, you need to publish your article in online format in online mode so that a lot of people can read it a lot of people can take benefit of your research and it should not have that when you publish online they have one more motto that it should not have any charges right so let us see what is this open access publishing so we will discuss today first what is open access publishing second self archiving self archiving means suppose you send your paper for publishing in a particular journal that journal charge some price from you that is okay suppose they charge 1000 rupees now in your university also in your library also there is a system to put your article so that people from your university or nearby university or from your state they can read your paper otherwise they also have to pay 1000 rupees to journal to see your paper so if you have some directory if you have some archive in your university or in your library there also you can keep one copy but for that you need to take permission from the publisher or journal that is called self archiving we will discuss about this don't worry so third point what is scholarly publication communication so what is the process involved in publication process that we will talk then problem in public publication process there may be a lot of problem that we going to discuss today benefit for researchers about online journals online publication and what kind of benefit for academic institutes or public that benefit we going to discuss today and then what are the different sources what are the different engines for example when you want to search something where do you search you search on google engine now for article what are the different platform what are the different online platform or online searching engines for different different article or research paper that is openly accessible that is in online mode that we will discuss today right and then predatory journal we already have discussed we'll put some light on that also so that uh, you will not uh, indulge in any work which would be unethical which would not be a good kind of and then we already have discussed criteria to search predatory journal maybe little little bit more we will put some light on that also and then we'll talk about checklist for genuine one how you identify which journal is genuine uh, so now we'll discuss this 7 uh, 8 point today so first open access listen carefully everybody the process of removing barriers such as price including subscriptions licensing fee pay per view fees and permission about copywriting and licensing in order to enable free free online access to full text information right the source is belk library information common okay so we continue with open access here you can see we already have discussed next thing would be a uh, budapest uh, open access initiative what they say see here there are many degrees and kind of wider and easier access to this this literature right by open access uh, to this literature we means it free available availability of literature is free on the public internet those who has internet 
they can read this literature this is open access permitting any user anyone can read download copy distribute print search link to full text of these articles without any problem without any issue right and it would be lawful without any financial legal or technical barriers those who want to access it through internet but the only problem would be reproduction and distribution and the only role for copyright is this domain should be give author control over the integrity of their work and the right to be properly acknowledged as but what they need to do they need to mention that i have taken this material from this journal and this is a write up of mr a mr b mr c they have written this so you need to mention their name only this is the minimum maximum requirement nothing else right so this is what open access initiative and who says budapest it is budapest open access initiative so any literature any paper that all would be free of cost what you need internet and if you want to re, uh, reproduce or distribute it what you need to do you need to acknowledge you need to cite you need to give reference of that person who has written that paper right everybody now two main ways to deliver open access to publication there are two main ways first green right green open access we call it open access repositories what is this second is open access journal which is called gold open access so first green self archiving author publish in a journal and self archive so you send your paper to a journal they will publish it but you have permission to put this article in your university or institute library or in website where we have a directory or self archive freely available right freely available without any problem it's called green open access or green self archiving here you can see few names pubmed central is one example of one university so if anyone from that university send their paper for publication in journal so they take permission from journal that we will publish this article in our library also in our archive also in our directory also so that at least our people our researcher in our institution can read without any cost free of cost any time what they need they should have internet uh, in india we have indian institute of science bangalore and let me show you this okay beside that we have i am ahmedabad also so in i am ahmedabad whatever paper they publish they have this archive repository where also they put one copy so that anyone can read it right second is gold publishing this means author publish in open access journals that provide free immediate access to articles by a publisher website so whosoever is the publisher they will put your article on their website without any charges anyone can read your paper right so one example public library of science is an example of gold publisher so they also publish journals so whatever article they have they put in public library of science so now we have two method uh, that is in open access that means anyone can see what they need they should have internet so i hope if you want to know more about this open access uh, green channel or gold channel so this is more detail and these are videos also which will help you to read it right so uh, what i am going to do uh, we'll continue with the next but let me see if you have any question in your mind